Uh, I'm depressed. I just, daggum it, I've been looking all over. And I'm just not going to buy a tile online. I've been thinking of a way to trim this. I got some uh, pretty good looking uh, uh, stick pencil tiles. But I can't find a good bull nose to kind of match this. And this, these I cut off of a mat. So I'm going to powder coat them. Uh, wish me luck on that, huh? And I might uh, throw in a little bonus footage on powder coating not only ceramics, but also a glass jug. Make a lamp out of it. So, if you want to hold olive oil and have it uh, leak everywhere, you, you, this is what you want. This is, this is, this makes it just leaks all over. But I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, pour this out into a, another container, and I'm probably gonna soak this thing. Uh, maybe put it in the uh, maybe I ought to put it in the ultrasound. Maybe go down and change the fluid again, which I do rather often. I'm gonna see if I can make a lamp out of that. Won't that be fun? Hmm. Gotta get that label off though. Well, I guess y'all can see the date. We're in the middle of the hurricane's action here. And it's might creepy in here <laughs> with all this stuff. So here's here's the tiles we're starting with. And uh, I don't I just couldn't really find what I wanted. These are I guess what they call some kind of modern bullnose. It's not exactly what I would call bullnose. And the other ones are back up at the house. So I'm going to go change the water in the uh, thing. And uh, let's get these back there and dry them off. Put them in the oven. I'm going to I'm going to hang out down here a while, I think. I believe that's going to be the best thing for me to do. Woo. It is a brutal afternoon out there. Okay, so we're going to be hot flocking or hot coating uh, these ceramic tiles. And I got my bottle in there. And I'm going to, uh, this is going to involve none of the uh, electrical portions of our program. Uh, so I do want to do the bottle probably in yellow. I don't know why. That's just kind of on a yellow streak lately. I don't know how you can tell. But these are going to be hot coated uh, black. And that's about the best I'm going to be able to do. I think it's going to be fine because uh, it's above a stove anyway, so heck with it. And uh, I think it's going to work. I think it's going to work great. So powder coating ceramic tile. What a guy, huh? I was standing in Lowe's and it just I couldn't find what I wanted. Eh, powder coat it. Wow. Just listen to that. Well, I put about uh, 40 miles or 50 on bath here, and I checked the oil, and uh, you can't even, it's so clean, and it's right at the right level, so I'm gonna call this a success. So, uh, let's, let's do that, man. Success. I deem thee a success. <laughs> I know. She got, I know you see some funky things, but uh, that's okay. It's a funky vehicle. The more I thought about it, the more I thought yellow was not going to work. So I'm going to put in a, a spoonful of copper uh, that I've had forever. This is what I used on uh, Daphne's uh, valve covers and stuff. It's a funky look. I also used it on Tahone, Sean's uh, horse. And it does kind of look like copper, don't it? So I got that and some high gloss black. I got about six or eight spoonfuls of this or more and one of these. and I. I've had mixed success, no pun intended, uh, with doing this, but I thought, well, it's a random tile thing. And I've also decided to do my, uh, my, uh, my bottle in that color too. So, no yellow today. So, okay. Well, it's some storm out there. Okay, so here's the bottle. I was thinking that these holes here went all the way through, but they don't. I guess that makes sense that they don't because it would go rancid. I don't know what I was thinking. I've got a lot on my mind. Uh, so anyway, there's the bottle. And uh, we're getting ready to pull the tiles out of the... Break that bottle down. Pull the tiles out of the oven. I'm heating them up a little extra hot for hot coating. Uh, we're not trying to bake powder on. We're trying to melt powder on. 
So in my case, I'm, I'm at like 425 degrees for probably uh, 10 or 15 minutes to heat it through, and we'll see if we can get this stuff to stick. Let's go in a little bit more. Get ready. Okay, let's go for our second coating and uh, see how it's going to look. Okay, it looks a little better. Those. I'm going to let those, it takes a whole lot more powder to hot coat. You can tell it how much it takes. Uh, so uh, they're in the oven and uh, we'll see what they look like. We're going to give them about, I don't know, five minutes at that temperature because they're already at temperature. So, I mean, that's what else do you need? So let's get set up again for the uh, plastic, I mean the plastic, <laughs> plastic wouldn't do too good, the glass bottle. Okay, let's take a look. These boots look good. Then let's put them on the floor. Okay, so I'm going to use both hands. I, well, I can't, so. Oh, I don't want to touch it. This is part of what you do here. Okay, let's heat that bottle up, and let's look over here, and that's the way those turned out. Now, I know perfectly well I'm going to have troubles with this, but I'm going to have like 99.9% .9 coverage, and I, I know there could be other problems, and I also know they make a thing called paint. Now, I can use a Sharpie or paint or something, and I can make this look better. I think that's going to look okay. I'm really, really okay with that, that texture and everything. Okay, we're just about ready to pull this bottle out and shoot it. 
and uh, don't have to worry about getting shocked. So don't have to worry about getting burned, but not shocked. Okay, well, let's uh, see if I can get this thing out of here. Smoking hot. Keep my gloves off. We're going to just see what happens here. That's the first coat. So let's get it sticky. Okay. So there. First coat. Second coat coming up. You're going to have to get used to the fact that this does not work as well as electrifying metal or magnet, you know, positive negative charging. It just doesn't work as well. But I'm only going for sort of an opaque kind of a thing here. I'm not going for a coating. This is going to be inside and it's glass already. So, I mean, cool. I'm cool with the whole thing. So, you, you, you got to be too because you can tell by the powder residue, it takes a lot of powder and it's, it just barely, barely works. But the trick here is get a, a little coating on it, get it sticky, get it hot again and the second layer will coat a little better. That's, that's the whole trick to this. Got it at about 425 degrees. Let's see, let's see what we got here. Just let it sit there about 10 minutes and then we'll take a look at it and it'll be fine at that point I'm sure oh start I wish uh, I need to find a way to fix that let's take a look at her see there she is you can see through her a little bit so what gives a character we it gets you out of a lot of problems to say it's got character <laughs> These did fairly well. I'm, I'm okay with those. That one didn't get much covers, but I guess I was standing in the wrong place. But we put that on the back side. Most of them got pretty good coverage on the bull nose. So they can stay there. Let's take a look at the bottle. And there's the there's the bottle. So and you can just see how I wrap that wire on there tight and just uh Let's just uh, very carefully put it down here, and then we'll go do some other stuff. There's the uh, thing. I don't, that was crazy me think there were holes there. I, I don't. It just flashed through my mind, and I thought, well, how dumb is that? So anyway, sometimes, like I say, you just get carried away thinking. And that was time to go up and put this into play. So what could that thing be? Okay, well it goes on. It's for cutting tile, you know, 45 degrees. 
because that's what I'm going to be doing here. I hope pretty soon I want to start on this tonight. I don't know. Don't know what gets into me sometimes. <laughs> okay, well, it's just too big, too big messy out there to do anything. Uh, let's take a look here. Today's average wind, nine miles an hour. It's pretty heavy, actually. Three inches of rain today. Uh, rain likely, no kidding. Uh, come on, give me the high wind. Uh, there's a video about me putting this thing in. This is the uh, liner I'm going to uh, put up around that tile before I... Oh, new wind record today. Let's see what it was. 25. That's not terrible. Pretty terrible. So that's a new record for today. So this is the... Uh, what I'm going to put, you know, around the edges of this tile. And then I'm going to put that copper tile up there. That's pretty groovy stuff. Kind of digging that. So, uh, hmm. we'll see how it goes. Well, I got rid of another, another tamper resistant outlet. So, that's good. And that's a, that's a good outlet there. And uh, let's see what we got here. Try to get a little, you can't see that hardly at all, but I'm not going to climb the ladder to do it. But you, well, maybe I should. Do it go up one rung. You can tell where I'm doing the border and where it stops. So there's that rope stuff up there with my 45 degree cuts that are pretty fair considering, uh, you know, the tool I have. It's not a very expert tool. So it ends, it's so hard to see, isn't it? It ends right here and I got to run it into this wall. So there's my rope going in right there. You see that pretty good. Yeah, there you go, give it some shadow. The shadow knows. Boston Blackie had an MGT series, in case you didn't know that. <laughs> it is a new day, and this is where we're going with this. I think it's going to look a little bit more fitting, and there's uh, the start right there. Powder coated tile. I think it looks good there. I'm, okay, I'm uh, more than okay with it. Uh, had to do a little bit more cutting on the the crown molding, or that might be uh, more like hat molding, not really a crown, and uh, had making another filler uh, where I took out the little hunk of crown, a little bit over four inches. So let's let's uh, get the other corner in while we can, and it is right there. I'm gonna just zoom in from here because I'm beat. So. I think that's much better. I got uh, maybe two or three pieces left to go. And then uh, I'll let it sit there for a while and pull the tape off. It's just uh, 20 till 2 now. And we'll just see how. I'm going to let it sit there a while and uh, percolate. It's been up there a couple hours. Uh, 4.30. We got called away, but uh, luckily, just right after I did this, I've been gone about 90 minutes. So we're gonna we're gonna pull the tape off, and you might see there's a little white line right there. That's where the the tiles were sort of off. The uh, anomalies in the tile, and I'm gonna try to make that little white line disappear. And it looks like, if you look right here and right there, that's a duplicate mark. It's really not. I don't, they just look very similar. Uh, but it's not a duplication on the tile. If, you know, I'm looking at them with, not through the camera and they're not, they just look the same. I don't, I don't know. Uh, maybe I can get a black magic marker and do some of that. Let me get rid of that white line and pull all tape off and we'll do a final shot. Oh, and uh, an update on this thing. Uh, let me tell you something. That hole right there, I had no idea this glass was so thick. It's like a quarter inch thick. It took me 30 minutes to drill and, and break through that hole right there to make myself a lamp. But we're going to do her. And, uh, and I actually thought this was ceramic at one point. And uh, 
I don't know. I'm trying. I've tried to program this camera to to focus better. There you go. But this is actually plastic. So uh, you know, I'm gonna. I got the little O-ring over there, but I don't think I need it. I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna try to drill a hole through this. But let's let's finish this up, and then we'll worry about that thing later. That's it. That's all there is. I got all the little cracks filled in with a little tiny pinch of uh, black caulk and I kind of left the leading edge there uh, with a little off colors. I just thought that looked pretty good. Uh, it's not exactly uniform and that's kind of what you're going for with tiles and mosaics. So finished all the white caulking and black caulking and uh, it's going to be great. I just, when I get my windows in and everything, yeah, that's the humble mechanic. I'm not a Volkswagen dude, but he's entertaining. So yeah, that looks really good. As you can tell, I kind of messed around with some of the strarations of the white and uh, that's going to be it. So. We're getting there. I don't know how much longer. It might be another month. Okay, I finished up just before five. So thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. And like and subscribe. I sure appreciate it. And we'll talk to you about something else later. But that's about all I can do in here for now. I'm still just sort of on hold. Waiting for windows. Perfect time of year to put windows in. So I am not complaining. So uh, anyway... Let's go. Bye-bye, guys.